In this video, we're going to make a sprint button. So when you hold left shift and, and go forward, we'll move faster. So maybe the speed you have here isn't it's too fast or not fast enough, just walking forward. Uh, what you can do is go here in player and in character motor, there's a movement. So you can set max forward speed in left and right. Um, but if we wanted to change this during the game, we got to write a script. So scripts, right click, create, C sharp script, call it player sprint, and open that up. Okay, so this is going to be a bit like the jetpack video. Um, we need access to the character motor. Okay, that's what we were changing here, character motor. That has the movement information in it. So we need a new variable of type character motor. It, we're going to call the variable cm. We also want two floats, which are like nah, numbers that are decimal numbers, like 1.5 or something, for the speed. So we're going to have walk speed, and we're going to have another one called sprint speed. So when we start, we're going to want to do a few things before, um, you know, at the very start of the game. We want to get cm, because right now it's just empty. So we're going to have to get components character motor. And there's a lot of ways you can do this, but just know that because we're going to attach the script to the player here, it's going to be one of these. So because character motor is there and our, our sprint is going to be down here, uh, you can just do this sort of thing to get it. So that's a cast, but you know you don't really need to know that. Uh, CM is now has access to that and we can use it and change it. We also want walk speed. Well, walk speed is going to be cm dot movement dot for max forward speed, and I got this directly from here. Um, I know that uh, there's movement, so it's going to be character motor dot movement, and then max forward speed. It's that's the names of all the things we can do, so they're right there. And we're also going to do sprint speed is going to be, let's say, walk speed times two. So now we're set for that. And on update, we want to check um, if we just pressed shift, left shift, then we want to set our, our CM movement forward speed to sprint. And if we just let go of shift, we want to set our CM uh, forward speed to walk speed. So, if input dot get key down key code whoop, key code dot left shift. So if we just pressed left shift, then our cm dot movement dot max forward speed is going to be sprint, and we're going to copy this because it's going to be really the same thing except up and on up. We want to do walk speed. And that's it, actually. So what we can do, go back to Unity. Go down here. Add player sprint to our player. Now when I walk, it's this you know, normal speed. But if I hold shift, I speed up quite a bit. And when I let go, it, it turns it off. Maybe that'd be a little more obvious if I did like times 5. Okay, so here's our speed, and when I press shift, we go into hyper mode. Wow, I almost fell off. And there you go, there's a sprint button.